Hey guys, it's Jason of Stealthy SK, and today I'm going to be starting off the video with a question. You ever started the league the same as everyone else? You're about six hours into your gameplay, you just hit Act 4, you're feeling good, you open up your friends list, and you see you have friends that are level 90 plus. Well, how do they do it? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over everything you need to be able to get your league start ahead of everyone else, and even past some of those level 90s. Now in this video, I plan to go over everything from useful recipes, to when to buy gear, and even all the way down to an in-game guide that tells you each step and what order to do it to speed run through the axe. Everything I will be showing in this video will be TOS friendly. I will not be showing any of the third party programs that interface with any of the in-game settings. Um, so be careful with what you download from random websites. Um, to start off, I'll be showing you all the third party programs I believe you should download. You don't have to download all these. These are all just for convenience sake and to make things faster at the beginning of the league. So these aren't going to be in any specific order of importance. I'm just going to write down all the things I think you should need. After I get done listing them out, I will show you how to download and use them. I will be providing links also to everything I say in this video. To start out, we're going to download Awaken PoE Trade. Then we're going to move on to PoE Lurker. After that, we're going to move on to Path of Building. After Path of Building, we're going to get a Loot Filter from Filter Blade. Then move on to Better PoE Trade, which is an extension for any Chromium browsers. I believe it also works for Firefox. Next, we're going to download Dilucan UI and Auto Hotkey. This is just to make it so it shows up in game. Um, it doesn't actually interfere with the game. It's actually just an overlay. After that, we're gonna grab the Chaos Orb Recipe tool. And last but not least, I will go over the TAT PoE stack bulk cell. First things first, we're gonna get Awaken PoE Trade. All you do is go to the GitHub link I have linked down in the description, click download for Windows or Linux, click the Windows 11 installer and just install from there. I would say this is one of the most important add-ons you can get in the game, and I'll explain why. So say I'm new to the game or even experienced in the game and I find an item I'm not sure what the price is. You can set up a keybind to look for the price to see what it is. So it says I have 39, that comes out to 8 chaos, um, or 0.8 chaos. And that'll tell you that for every single item that's able to be valued. So let's try a portal scroll. This is worth literally nothing until you get to a certain stock. You can type your stock in. So say I have 99, it is now worth 4 chaos. Um, and you can do this all through the menu by pressing shift space, going to the cog wheel, and putting your keybinds in. Now this is going to be the main thing you're looking for is open with auto hide. This is how you're going to hover over items and uh, get that price. It also has stuff like macros you can press. So I can press shift plus bracket right and it will enter my hideout. I can push bracket right and it will exit the game very very quickly. Besides that, that's the main thing you need to know about this. Just make sure when the new uh, league comes in, you're going to refresh this and you're going to put the new league rather than the old league. Next up, we got PoE Lurker. Kind of the same thing. You scroll down to download, click it, and then once it finished downloading, you install. And it's just like that. So it gives you a few buttons. So when someone trades you, an icon will pop up at the beginning of the screen at the bottom left of it. Um, and you can change your messages to whatever you want, depending on what you click on. Um, I'll go ahead and give you an example. So once you get message, it'll tell you in the chat how much it's worth. All you do is click on, oh, he's in standard league, but you click on here, it invite him to the trade out. When it comes, when he comes in the trade, um, it'll, it'll light up and let you know. You'll click it again, it'll open trade and you'll be done. You also have a few buttons like I'm busy and stuff like that and you also can go to stash and click the bottom of your health bar and then it'll light up whatever item it is. So it's pretty useful. Next up is path of building. This is absolutely mandatory if you're a new player. Um, this is how you see what path you take for your builds and it's also going to tie into some add-ons I'll show you later on. Obviously you click download. Once it's done downloading. You just do the setup and you're good to go. 
So this is Path of Building. Um, it looks far more advanced than it is, but it, I mean, it is advanced, but they make it pretty intuitive. Um, all you'll need as a new player is you'll go to import, you'll find a video you like, you'll take their Path of Building link. This happens to be my video. Um, import, it will give you their tree, it'll give you their items, and it'll give you their skills. It'll also tell you the stats and stuff they have. Um, and that's the three main things you need to learn. Now if you want a more in-depth tutorial, there are tons of them online. I would go ahead and watch one of those, because even I can't fully explain everything on here. Next in line is going to be Filter Blade, which gives you options for Loot Filter. So for a quick example, um, these are all the things that will show up without a filter. There's just too many to sort through, and this isn't even the highest tier. Uh, it would take you forever to get through these. So what people use are called filters, and what that does is it gives you options. I do very um, uber strict. And it just gives you the more important items. Um, and this scales up from the beginning um, all the way to the end game. This is the website you'll be using. Um, you don't have to sign with PoE, but if you do, it'll automatically update for you. Um, these are just custom colors uh, they allow you to look at. It shows you on here what they will be looking like on the ground. Um, what you're going to do as a new player is go to save and export, continue without saving, and get all strictnesses. What this does is it will give you every single strict path um, so you can slowly move up as you get better loot. Here are all the filters. You just copy, go to documents, go to path, nope, sorry, my games, path of exile, and you paste it right here and then go in game, go to game, refresh, and then pick one of the ones you want. Next download is gonna be better path of exile trading. Um, this is just really convenient for making builds and saving items you're trying to search for. You will just click add to opera or add to whatever extension you want. So say you have certain stat filters you wanted you wanted to save. Um, say I wanted this weapon, but it was too expensive at the time. What I do is make a new folder for whatever build I'm doing. And then I would register current trade um, and then name it whatever I want to name it. So you can close it come back and then it'll automatically search the same things you searched before now for leak star I recommend you find a video of a leak star character you want to start and you get all the gear lined up and ready to go just in case they pop up for here cheap so I'd get every single piece of the gear and then activate live search and it'll make a sound every time a piece of gear comes up and you can even sort it by price. So you want it like below two chaos. Um, you can set it that way and it will ding every time a two chaos weapon comes up. If you're a new or intermediate player, this add-on is going to save you a ton of time. It is called Lilokin and it is a guide that you can overlay in game to tell you the most efficient path to take to be able to go through the axe. Download this, you're first gonna wanna go to the auto hotkey website and download the depreciated version. It will not work on version 2.0. Then you go to the GitHub and you click this blue download. It'll open as a zip file. Once you got it unzipped, when you open the game, you're just gonna double click this icon and it will open up at the top. So this is gonna be all the settings. Now there are a ton of useful things in here, um, but we're gonna mainly be talking about the leveling. Um, you're gonna start by a leveling I'm enabling the leveling tracker. So not only is it telling you the fastest way to get through the axe, it's also telling you where to pick up all your gems. Now once you've Googled what build you leveled up, I clicked a random one, this is gonna be X-Blast. Um, you're gonna find, so if they have multiple different sections, you're gonna go to whatever section you're aiming for. We'll call it early game. You're gonna go to your tree and make sure that it's set to early game or act 10 and what this add-on will do is we can take this import, we can generate, share, and copy. Once we get it copied, we're going to go to Exile Leveling, which I'll have linked in the description. We'll go to Builds. We'll go to Import Build. Paste that code we just got. 
Once that is imported successfully, uh, make sure you have leak start and library tab. We can go down to route, which this is what's going to be showing in game. Um, and it tells you when to pick up your, uh, your gems and when you can buy them for each stage of the leveling process. Now that you see that you got your build set up, you're going to go to third party export. Go in game to top left where it says slide look in UI. Go to leveling tracker and then import your guide. It will say success. And then you'll now be able to see at the bottom exactly what it wants. Um, so it's telling you right here, you're going to turn this quest in and get your storm blast mines. And it just does that the entire way through. Once you get to a part like this where it says buy gems, you're going to go to whoever sells them. Click on the keywords. Press your Omni key, which you can set up in your uh, in your settings, and it will highlight the ones you need to buy. Um, the default Omni key is hold middle mouse click. So I already did a whole episode, well, YouTube video of the Chaos Orb recipe tool. Um, so you can just go check that out. I'll link it down in the description. Well, unfortunately for the last one, which is TFT, it is a massive discord with a ton of people, but there is corruption in it. And people do have their qualms with it. I'm going to be skipping all that and just telling you how to bulk sell if that's all you care about. But once you get to the website, you're just going to connect your PoE account and your Discord account. You're just going to go to TFT Bulk Tool. This will also tell you how much generally your bulk sell is worth. Which is worth more than what you'd sell if you sold individually. So let's say we wanted to load divination tabs. We'd find the divination tab. We'd load cards load one tab and it says i have 24 uh div worth of cards i don't actually because these don't really sell um you can change the multiplier but even at a 45 percent it'd still be hard to sell but all you do is post on tft and then you'll get an in-game message of someone trying to buy it just be careful of scams and stuff like that now there's a lot more to the discord um i don't I don't want to go through everything that's on there because like I said, there are qualms that people have with it and I just don't want to get involved. But to me, they've been very nice. All the admins have done their job and I've never gotten scammed. So now that we're done with add-ons, let's move over to stuff for money making. Um, so tabs that are able to be sold. So the highlighted ones, unfortunately they do have to be purchased from the shop, but they are pretty cheap. I'd recommend you get at least two quad stash tabs um, and a currency tab uh, as the minimum, but to even do what you are able to afford. So when you're going through the acts, you don't want to stop and price a whole bunch of stuff. So you want to make certain tabs, certain prices, so you can fast move stuff into them and get the quantity you want out of them without having to type each thing. The way you do that is you type this, which it's just going to be tilde price, whatever price you want. We'll say one chaos um, and then press OK. Um, if you want it divines, you type divine. Um, same difference. But I would do like a one chaos tab, a five chaos tab, even maybe a 10 chaos tab. This will just be so you can quick toss items in, um, especially if you don't know the price. You toss them into the higher valued ones. And if you're getting spam messaged, you can probably tell that the item is worth more and then you can go price it separately. Now that we're on the topic of money making, um, you want to find out what you're going to be doing at the beginning of the league to be making money. If you're brand new to the game, I would just look up the different league mechanics you can run. Um, there's something called the Atlas tree where you can put a whole bunch of trees together to make a specific tree for your build. So if your build's good at mapping, you can make a mapping tree, you can make a bossing tree, uh, things like that. But people have already concocted so many of these. I would just go online and look up money making strategies. <laughs> now, for a new player, I would recommend you just out and go. What that means is you just take your maps whenever you're finished with the Atlas. You take your maps and you alk them, you orb alchemy them, and then just run them over and over and over and over. With a bunch of map nodes, you keep sustaining maps um, until you get your build to a point where it can do specific things like Legion, Delirium, stuff like that. If you go to this site, poeatlas.com, 
they actually have atlas trees on here you can look at and you can follow these um, and these will give you a general idea if you don't know what you're doing at all so I'll go ahead and link this down um, just if you're not sure what you want to do again I would just look up the different um, the different league mechanics and see what looks fun to you um, you don't have to be the most efficient but it's better to have a plan going into the league rather than just uh, guessing it later on just as a side note make sure to check and make that your build is still either usable slash viable after the patch notes because things do change um, sometimes they'll change the atlas tree sometimes they'll change the mapping tree sometimes they'll change the skill tree um, you never know until the actual patch notes are out um, so make sure everything still works after when going through the axe some people get frustrated that they don't get gear drops um, you have to remember um, while you're leveling that these guys do sell gear um, and sometimes it's really good gear that'll get you through the axe much faster um, so always double check and see if they have potions you need amulets belts rings weapons because um, sometimes they'll have the right colors because you don't want to spend all your chromatics trying to guess a color you want you'd rather have deterministic ones so yeah as you're going through the axe make sure you're checking the vendors to see if they have any um, gear for you and remember if you're playing with someone else they'll have a different um, sell than you so double check with your teammates and see if they have what you need now I'm going to be going over some basic stuff you want to pick up as you're going um, pick up any portal scrolls anything that's raw currency you're going to be picking up um, when you see stuff like this that means it's connected with links and if it's triple color like green blue and red if you sell it to a recipe vendor I mean any vendor rather it'll give you a recipe for a chromatic orb and those are re really useful at the beginning of the league so make sure you're picking those up you're also going to want to be picking up any six sockets any six links at the beginning you're going to want to try to sell the six links but if you can't you can sell it to the vendor and get 20 jewelers orbs um so yeah make sure you're doing that besides that i can't think of anything else off the top of my head that um you can do um there probably are a whole bunch of different things little things you can do to speed up your progress but i appreciate you watching this far into the video if it helped at all, go ahead and like and subscribe. I do make these videos constantly and I will be making build guides for the beginning of the league. So uh, if you can uh, do that for me, I'd appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Bye.